kind of gathering, most suitable gathering, I think, to have a celebration of the ninth anniversary of uh, Tomilbuk Foundation Day, because uh, that day actually is going to be a very major day. February the 13th is a million uh, person rally in Korea taking place on that day. What is the official title? I even have that for you. It's the one million rally for the salvation of our homeland. And that's taking place. So this is one of the reasons I think that uh, this uh, celebration is put together. But we are here celebrating True Carol's birthday, right? Yeah. So that's that's wonderful. That says it says it all really. Uh, who could join this morning at uh, midnight and thereafter? A few people could join up. A very beautiful ceremony, wasn't it? Right? Three hours of uh, very well prepared uh, ceremony, beautiful holy table. Not to say that this is not beautiful, this is absolutely oh, yeah. precious. So it's, it's uh, as you say, a ton song. So, so much ton song. Thank you very much for everybody who has showed that heart and your heart by coming here today. It's really wonderful. Um, I wanted to just share a few words from. Uh, a speech. It's from our true father, actually, given in 1985. I feel like I'm ringing a bit here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get that? It needs to go down a little bit, I think, because uh, I get it in my ears. So. <laughs> this is 1985. Uh, who remembers 1985? Not many in the front, I think. <laughs> <laughs> But that was actually quite an intense period for our movement, right? And Hunjanin had passed away through the tragic accident just the year before, and Father had gone to Danbury. This speech was given, I think, while well, he was kind of on his uh, passage out of Danbury prison, in that very, very uh, unfair, unrighteous uh, imprisonment, which was uh, nevertheless, you know, taken as something very positive by himself. And here he is able to speak on this day to brothers and sisters, even though that process wasn't quite complete. That's how I uh, understand it. Um, so it would, I, I mentioned that background because things are very different now. Maybe you don't all appreciate that. Things are very, very different, as I, I mentioned in the prayer. But at this uh, celebration and this summit, we have uh, current heads of state as well as former heads of state coming. It's very unusual mm. that they will come to a program organized by an NGO, right? mm. uh, not, not top governmental you know, interrelations. Mm. So it really shows that something is happening and touching people in a very important way. So here in this speech, I've picked out well, just some of my favorite. <laughs> so, so Father says here, uh, and the title is True Parents' Birthday. That's the title of the speech. Can you believe that? <laughs> True Parents' Birthday, February 25th, 1985. And Father said there, what is the meaning of the word unification? Ah, that's a useful word, isn't it, right? It means the unification of the love of God with the love of husband and wife and the love of humanity. That's what it means. When we use it, or when true parents use unification, that's what it means. That is why the word unification was adopted for our movement. When you join the unification church and accept the teachings, how do you look at Reverend and Mrs. Moon? They are the true parents to you. No religion before has ever spoken about the true parents. We are the first. What are the true parents? The true parents are the fulfillment of the will of God, the fulfillment of the unification of his love. That is why the advent of the true parents is so historically important. But you do not know the real implication of the words true parents. You do not know the long, hard path necessary 
to come to the point where those words could be spoken. Behind the words true parents and unification is a hidden history of suffering which you have not known about. Only upon the victory in the incredible showdown with the satanic world mm. could the word unification become a reality. Today, Father said, I am feeling fulfilled. Earlier this morning, I prayed for a long time with Mother at the pledge service. In that prayer, I asked God to give me the opportunity to create a broad highway here on the earth so that anybody who got on that highway could go to heaven. This is a hellish world, and Danbury Prison represents hell on earth. And from that place, I am creating a highway all the way to heaven so that anybody can go to that goal. When the Israelites had been wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, they selected 12 representatives to infiltrate Canaan and reconnoiter. Ten of them came back and said, it's impossible to win. Only Joshua and Caleb said, if God is with us, what should we fear? We can win. And God blessed their faith. A very serious ceremony was held at the service this morning. I prayed for the unity between heaven and earth. I prayed for a highway between heaven and hell so that we could achieve total unification of humanity in the name of God and his true love. In January, I gave you the goal of meeting with 120 ministers. Now you have to do it. Run after it and accomplish that goal. Will you do it? Yes. yes. <laughs> the title of this sermon, uh, it's fair to, to, to say that because Mother's message was very like that this morning, right? She's saying we all have to be magnets and draw together righteous people. And she talks about her buzzword for this year. Did you catch what it is? Dynamic. dynamic. You have to be dynamic. So I think as, if you just concentrate on that, my belief is things will happen. <laughs> You'll be amazed. Just be dynamic. So my wife asks me always, what are you doing today? <laughs> and she says that in the morning. What have you, you got planned for today? So I would say, I'm going to be dynamic. It's <laughs> <laughs> so a simple answer. <laughs> right. The title of this sermon, Father said, was True Parents Birthday. You have received the message. You know your responsibility. I trust that each one of you will do it. God is alive. That God wants to live with each one of you. You must think, the living God is with me. And he has everybody say it aloud. God is alive. He is dwelling with me. God is alive. He is dwelling with me. Therefore, be willing to do anything. Raise your hands and say, yes, Father. Yes, yes Father. God bless you. Yes. <laughs> and I said, right? Okay, so who here is uh, 12 years old or younger? Yes. <laughs> 12 years old or younger? Okay, okay. So do any of you know any quotation? from the bar, the playwright, William Shakespeare. Anybody know a quotation? The words from the Shakespeare play? <laughs> okay, under 15s. <laughs> Any quotation? Anyone at all? The quality of mercy. <laughs> 15 or under. <laughs> Yes, I, I heard it. I heard what I was fishing for. I was fishing, actually. Right? Yes, it's probably the most well-known and cliché one. To be or not to be. Of course, you know, and then it says, that is the question. This is Hamlet, Act 3, Scene 2. So, to be or not to be. He's struggling with things at the end of his life, right? Um, but, what's the meaning of True Parents' birthday? 
And why should I mention that? Because I think it's the other way around. That's why. I think it's not to be or to be. <laughs> That's the meaning of two parents' birthday. That's why we celebrate two parents' birthday. There was a time when there were no two parents. And then there was a time when there are two parents. Even though they're just little babies and they're growing up like we all grow up. But it's a big difference you know, to not be and to be. So there's no question. Okay. So we give thanks, really, for the coming into being of a person when we uh, celebrate their birthday. That's why we celebrate a birthday. They come into being, actually. And, um, you know, that's very much along the lines of the ceremonies we've had this morning. As I mentioned, Mother spoke to us and encouraged us to really be bold. She says that almost every speech. So be bold, be courageous. What are you waiting for? And to be dynamic this year as magnets, so to testify strongly and clearly. Uh, there's a small, short speech this morning, so I really encourage you to look that up when it's published. Please find that speech and say it over again to yourselves as many times as you feel you need to do. And I'm sure it will benefit you. So, uh, thank you very much for joining us to celebrate. We uh, are just beginning our day here. It goes all the way on to four o'clock. Lots of entertainment <coughs> of different sorts. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, that's wonderful. Uh, let's just take an opportunity. I think next on the program is induction of pastors. Ah, yes, but first we had a photograph taken at this stage, isn't it? So, we're going to do a bit of <coughs> rearranging, and we're going to go into a short ceremony to induct, if that's the right word, I'm just choosing that word today, induct new pastors into our community. Right? So I will give a little further few words in introduction to that and then we will pray uh, uh, all together in a special way. But uh, first of all, we need a commemorative photo because this is such a wonderful gathering. This has to be here for eternity. Right? Even out onto the stairs, people, they can't get in. There's so many. <laughs> Hi, everybody out there. Wonderful. So, who is the camera person? They need to direct us when and where and how we do. Wonderful. Okay. 